touch your stomach. I want to touch your ear. Here. You are free, but where's your husband? Is you come together. God loves you, but you must have unity. Amen. 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 Just build up unity. You understand? That's true. Yeah, this there's no unity. That's true. Sometimes you uh, this one say this and I say that. That's true. That's true. Even huh? today it is true. Even today. Mm. Yes. Another one say this, another one say this. Who's going to be a husband here? Who's going to be a wife? Who's going to be a husband? You people must build unity. Amen. You must be a wife. Amen. Do you want to be a wife? Yes, sir. Can you kneel before you kneel? You have never done this. You, you are full of stories. It's not true, sir. It's true. Huh? It's true. Full of stories here. It's true. She wants to control you. Very true. This lady wants to control you. That's true. They want to make you a wife. Mm. Ask forgiveness. You say what? Come like a mirror. You will have less Shangan. Ah, you know you are Umzulu, eh, Nama? Ah, I'm Shangan. Huh? I'm Shangan. No, my Shangan is a very, a very intelligent man. When Umzulu. You say what? Come like a mirror. Come mirror, eh? Listen, I was about yes, to ask that. <laughs> 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 Why will respect? No respect. No respect. No respect. respect. No respect. No respect. No Whatever this man say is zero to you. You don't agree with this man. Hey, most times I agree. I say, ask forgiveness. Come back home, everyone. Yin, don't ask me. Yin, I can't yin. I can't go. So now go go under my. I now can't go in case. Yeah, we will have to switch. Sungula. Come back home, everyone. I can't go. So I'm going to say, I'm going to go under my. I'm going to go in Okay, thanks. But the thing that come back home, I go. You must support my dreams. Don't don't <laughs> crush me. Yeah. Don't crush me. Support me. Yeah. You will see everything will be okay. Australia. Hey, no Australia. Hey, in that support, I can go. Lift your wife and kiss your wife. This marriage will go far. You are free. I mean, you are in church and uh, you want us to pray for you for blessing and on the other side you are divided. I mean, do you want us to talk about progress? Here you are fighting. You understand? Here, another one says, okay, this one, hey, my child, hey, my child. Here, there's a problem. You have problems. And then here you are, hey, my child. Hey, hey, my child there. You people, you know what I'm talking about. It's not true. Eh? Eh? I know, and um, I've, like, I mean, I've never talked about this with her, but today I'll talk with her because, I mean, she'll understand it better now. You'll talk with her? Yes. Can I say that? About my child and my child? Exactly. Uh, give exactly. glory to God. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, because the reason why uh, sorry, Mama, wait for a while. The reason why this man, this man was already divided, if I can tell you. That's true. Huh? That's true. He was already divided in his heart here. He was just saying, ah, this woman, I don't, it's like, I never thought she's the one. Mm. It's not true. It's true because even last month it was, it was a disaster. It was a disaster last year. Um, no. Can you see, sister? Hey, it's very true. Yes. You, yeah. In fact, I just want to advise you like my daughter here. Uh, marriage 
It serves. It's a journey. You understand? It's a journey. A man will never love a woman who undermine him. Men will never. We'll always search around. The reason why we have few men and they have got many ladies is because of that. So, you, if you can check here in church and check how many ladies are, how many, and men, it's like that in the world. Men are few. But the problem is, when you get a man, you don't treat him like your husband. You want to treat him like your child. And sometimes, you get influence from friends. Sometimes you get influence from the past relationship. This one here, look here what the Bible says. It says, Abraham was called master. Master by Sarah. Me, I have my, my wife here. There is no day that we found ourselves fighting. We have never fight in our life. Yeah. That woman here, she humbled herself. Even when, because I talk too much, you understand? Like now I'm talking too much now. Even when I talk too much like this, my wife will just say, hey, hey, sometimes laughing. She will tell me another day when I'm excited. I say, hey, did you say this and this and this? What do you think about it? I'd be oh, hey, I was out there. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, why are you bringing it? Now I begin to know her. You need to have wisdom. Not men are few here. If we say men stand here, it's the same thing. Let these are many. If God gave you a husband, irrespective of how you got that man, you understand? You must treat your marriage. You are doing it for the Lord. You are not doing it for him. Whatever you are doing it for your husband, your wife, you are doing it for the Lord. You can either be a fool, that's fine, but this is your marriage you have been given by God. You remain faithful to it until the Lord says it's enough. I'm not saying you are a very bad woman, no. I just see the influence you got. You were disappointed. I saw a lot of disappointments on you. That has really changed your character. You understand? Mm, very true. And uh, this disappointment is the one that has affected you. So now you, don't treat this man like the ones there. He's a very good man. He wants to do everything for you. Very strong. He mostly talks like that, but financially things were not. I can't hear you. I'm saying he always says um, what you're telling me, that you want to do everything for us, but financially things haven't been very God well. God will never give you finance when you're like this. Well, how can... Because now you can kill him tomorrow. There are many men who have been killed because of their money. A wife does not change. She values things than her husband. You understand? You find that when you have money now, she marry your money. She does not marry you. There's a lot of problems in marriages that I, I, can't, I can't say you have, you have you are on those problems. I can't see that. But you, I can see where you come from. I can tell you that uh, you have a very good husband. And you are also a good woman. A very good woman. If you just change, you crush these things of anger issues. You know, because you have too much anger. Unnecessary angers. Because you have been anger there. Oh. Mm, very true. Huh? Very true. Yeah, that is why you find that you can't listen to this man. So today, we are learning from you. It's not only you. There are many problems here. Even when I'm speaking with you, I'm learning. I'm learning. Because we are taught by the Holy Spirit. I'm learning that, ah, oh, there are something like this. Oh, there's something like this. Do you understand that? Amen. God loves you. Amen.
Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service and uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Magaranesa. And with me here today is my family who will locate to join the service by the Apostle who ministered upon their lives. Ma, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I'm Nom Sam, staying in Pretoria, and this is my husband. Human. Today, during the service, the Apostle located you and ministered upon your lives. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Um, as he was praying for everyone in the church, he called me, he prayed for me, and then asked me where my husband is. And then I told him he's still sitting in the chair. And then he called us. He told us that we need to start to listen to each other because we don't seem like we are united in our marriage. And yeah, he prayed for us, and certain things were confirmed about our marriage and then he prayed for us so do you confirm what the apostle said to be true if yes can you please elaborate yeah he it's what he said is very true he um, spoke about me being angry or not uh, fully listening or standing in um, one word with my husband and he's noticed or he said that um, I have anger issues from the past which is true um, the uh, past failed relationship was one of the as according to what he said it was one of the reasons that caused some of the anger issues and certain things in the marriage so he prayed for us and he gave me an advice as his daughter. And so how do you feel that today the men of God located your family, ministered upon your lives and even guided you? Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be honest because uh, it's, 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 it's not every day that uh, these things I mean, happen. And, 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 and what I like most about uh, what Apostle Amin said, it's, it's because I mean, all of them are true. And 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 go, going forward, I mean, we, we just have to maintain whatever that uh, uh, apostle I mean uh, told us today. Yeah. And how would you encourage a wife who's watching this? <laughs> I would encourage them to respect their husband and yeah, listen to their husband. Let them talk fully. Let them say whatever that is inside their hearts, without uh, taking it to, um, or being angry about it. So, yeah, let them pray and, yeah, God will assist them, will give them wisdom. As I was told, God must give me wisdom also. So I'm also praying for it. Amen. Amen.